Perfect. Hey, what's up guys? So I wanted to do a quick video here today and show you a little bit of the high notes on a service on a 2008 Yamaha Raptor. Um, I have my ATV somewhat pulled apart here. If you watched my last video, you saw we did a, a video on how to clean it up with some slick off-road wash. And while I've got it pulled apart, I thought, what the heck, let's run around and do a little oil change and a bit of a service on it while it's pulled apart. So here, I'm gonna show you what I got going on. Um, I have already started draining the oil from the crankcase. Now, I'll show you, for any of you wondering out there how to get the oil out of this crankcase, that is the bolt. And then, oh geez, that's very hard to see. There's where you wanna pop the uh, drain plug out of the crankcase and drain that out. There is about three quarters to a, a, a full quart of oil that's held off in the crankcase. So you wanna drain that out. This is where your oil filter hides, but I'll come back around to that after. Now, it's a little easier to see from this side, but this also has an external oil reservoir on it. Okay, and this is ultimately where you check your oil too. Now there's a plug on the bottom that you can see up in there. You need to pop that plug out and drain your external oil reservoir as well. So I'm gonna pop that plug off and I will uh, come back to you and show you what we need to do with this oil filter. Okay, so we're just draining the oil out of this oil reservoir. It's a 12 mil bolt that uh, ultimately makes up that plug. And now we are gonna jump over to this oil filter assembly. Now you need to pop these bolts out of here and take this cap off to ultimately access the oil filter. Now it's a paper oil filter on the other side of that and there's an O-ring that seals this cap in here. So I'll get this popped off and show you what's behind here. Okay, so now this can turn into a little bit of a mess once you break this cap loose. So I always like to put some paper towel in here, try to limit the amount of oil that you get spread around here as you're pulling this cap off. But anyway, break all these loose. Relatively long bolts, right? Bottom one's short. So there you can see the oil start coming out. Make sure you got your drip pan underneath. Okay, and then you can just go ahead and pop this cap off of here. Now, ever so carefully, you've got a rubber O-ring in here as well. So, Make sure you keep track of that, right? It's what seals this cap in place. So as you can see, yeah, we've got a little bit of a, an oily mess going on, but pop the oil filter element out of here. Check it out. Make sure there's no pressing issues with this and tidy up the uh, rest of the oil and, and get ready to put your new oil filter element in there. Okay, so here we got a new oil filter element, genuine Yamaha. Get ready to put this guy back in. Um, yeah, pretty hard to mess up, but I mean, obviously you want this end to go in first, all right? Like so. Okay, and then you're gonna take your cap, make sure you put it back on the, in the correct orientation. So that's gonna go like so. I 
And yeah, make sure you got that O-ring back in there, right? Seals this all up. And yeah, simply put your bolts back in. Long bolt here, long bolt here, short bolt down below. Well, I should mention as well, there's a little rubber O-ring in here in this bottom kind of drain bolt. So make sure that you don't forget to put that guy back in there too. Okay, so now I'm gonna be filling up the crankcase here with some Yama Lube 10W40. Um, how you access this crankcase filler is up here on top, so. Spin this guy off. There's an O-ring in there too, so make sure you check that out. It's good. Okay, and uh, you want to put about 1.3 liters, which is, I mean, you know, a quart and about this much. <laughs> Um, in the crankcase and then what you want to do is you want to fire up the bike rev it up a couple times get some oil circulating and you add the rest of the oil into your reservoir tank so um, at least this is what Yamaha recommends you do so uh, fill up your crankcase and the rest goes in the uh, the reservoir tank so Okay, so then once you're done, just walk around and make sure that everything's good and tight. Put your drain plugs back on. You got no leaks. And I mean, I guess depending on what type of skid plate you got. So I've got these GYTR skid plates I got to put back on. Um, get under your machine and put those on. I mean, these are designed to be able to change the oil while they're on it, but I find that Sometimes you get oil that leaks down in here and it makes a mess. So anyway, I just pop mine off and change the oil that way. It's a little easier to access everything, but let's we'll get the machine back up. I'll put the skid plate back on and uh, we'll be on the road again. So we're just gonna roll it out and fire it up here.
so now I'm gonna grab my oil and just top up my reservoir. All right, guys, yeah, so just in closing, you know, go around your bike, check for leaks, make sure you tighten up all your drain plugs, you don't have any oil coming out of your, your filter cap, oil filter cap. Um, and then, yeah, just to sum the products up, I used Yamalu 10W40. Um, I use 1.85 liters, give or take. It's just under two quarts that you need to do this oil change with the filter. Also use the uh, genuine Yamaha oil filter. So um, if you're not going to change the filter, you can get away with using a little bit less oil. I think it's 1.65 liters. I don't know why you wouldn't change the filter. I mean, they're cheap insurance, right? When you consider what it's worth to change a motor, if you had a bad filter. Anyway, um, yeah, that's about it. So um, I hope this video helps you, helps demystify some of the uh, questions that you may have around um, changing the oil in one of these guys. And as always, feel free, hit me up below. Uh, questions or comments are always welcome. I'll get back to you and try and help you the best I can. So thanks very much for watching. Hope this video finds you well. Take care.